Six months ago, we set out to transform a Mercedes Sprinter into our very own Golf Tour Bus, which you will have seen in some of the recent videos. And we thought you might like to see how we transform this into this. Oh, and a word of warning, there is no golf featured in this video. This story starts very early on a Monday morning, and I mean very early. What is the biggest downer? We've just come to get a Starbucks and realised that we can't fit through the drive through I think we're going to have to take it back. Nightmare. No McDonald's, no Starbucks. No, it just means you can't go through the drive through It doesn't mean you can't have no McDonald's. True. Otherwise, it would be going back. Nightmare. Are you sugar some sweetness? Uh, one sugar, please. One sugar, any sauce? Mm. Is it in here? Did you say Unit 5? Yeah. Well, we've arrived. I think, anyway. Five hours. We're in uh, Harlow near Essex, by the way. Still no clues why we're here. Right, so we're finished for the day and we've just arrived and dropped off at what is our Airbnb which we're staying at the next couple of days and it's, uh, well it looks really pretty, um, it doesn't it? Yeah, really. It turns out there's more to Essex than the sugar huts. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really rural, we're out in the middle of nowhere, I have no idea where we are but, uh, wow, very nice. The barn, that's where we're staying, and apparently we need to find our key. We'll find our key and uh, we'll get settled in for the night. I'm clearly the office junior in this role. I've got your favourite cup, look at that. Great, thank you. See you. I know, do it that. Right, so we've just got back after what was a great day at uh, uh, watching our van get printed. It's really getting excited and we're close to the finish. This is where we're staying, which is a really nice uh, sort of barn conversion, two bedroom. It is really, really nice uh, place to stay. But uh, feeling good, better than yesterday, which was a bit of uh, almost like jet lag. Five and a half hour journey down here. Worked all day yesterday and we're pretty much flat out. So a bit more energy tonight and we've just found there's a local pub only 10 minutes away and that we're all allowed out now, or at least to eat outside. So we're gonna hop on over there, get something to eat, and have a little walk around the Essex countryside, I think. I can't tell you how much different it is down here than I expected it to be. So we've made our way to this uh, little pub, it's called the White Hart in uh, Morton. Yeah. And Morton is a bit like, well, I think it's like, oh, there's another pub. Could be on a pub crawl, actually. Oh, yeah. um, Morton's a bit like the film, the world's end and i said it's not but it is it's gonna be robots serving us <laughs> this is my first uh Alvin. first house yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. oh man i'm gonna watch her i'll eat that now <laughs> so i'm starving man just get you something quickly no don't worry about it <laughs> I'm gonna have another. Um, do you want to drink it? No, I'm gonna have another side of beer. No, don't worry, man. I'm not bothered. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you just hear that. My order didn't go through. It's not. It's not I was so polite there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, so it was the morning of our final day, day three. Uh, we've got a bit of a um, we've got a bit of a situation developed, which um, well, a bit unforeseen, to be honest with you. Spider gate. Oh, massive. Huge. Yeah. So the situation is at the minute, the spider is in the bathroom, behind the bathroom door. Hannah wants me to remove the spider. I'm not keen on them either, to be honest with you. And I'm still yet to get a shower, so we'll keep you updated. How some sausages? And here it is, all finished. It looks amazing and we can't thank Jed and his team enough. So a fairly uh, momentous, momentous occasion. A fairly momentous occasion as it's the first drill hole, not in the van body I don't suppose, but in the bulkhead in this case. We were gonna take this whole thing out, but what we decided to do, as the kitchen is gonna be fixed on this back wall, we're gonna look to leave this bottom half in and we're gonna cut it in place and then just take the top half out. That's the plan at least. So, oh first pilot hole. We're through, we've, we've broke ground. God, on the chair probably. No, no, don't say that. I've already checked. Down. I'm just going to drop wow. it. Just, just take your time there. Now. Take up the floor. Right, so onto the floor. We have uh, we've removed the uh, the base that was in the van originally, but we've kept it. Obviously, it's a great template to use. It's ideal for this. So we're just about to put some of this uh, insulation in underneath. I've laid the three boards out um, that we bought this straight back over in exactly the same position it acts as a, hopefully as a great template for me to cut around and these should fit perfect back in the van and I think we're going to actually reuse um, this initial floor that was in the van again I know a lot of people don't but it just seems really good quality uh, materials to uh, to not not waste basically and I don't know if it's because of the height we're going to lose so we'll have a look when it goes in but at the moment the plan is insulation in original floor back in We'll, uh, and then later on in the at the end of this project we'll uh, we'll stick some kind of laminate flooring down um, but yeah we'll see how we go So that is it, insulation in. I'm going to lob the floor back in uh, for the time being. This will all have to be lifted again because Hannah's going to go mad when she comes back because she wants to clean all this first. So I'm going to have to take it all back out and uh, we start again tomorrow, get it all cleaned out and then we'll fit the floor properly. She will go mad though. So after the boss came back and done her inspection, we took the flooring back out, uh, give it all a good clean. All the floor is nice and clean now. And then we'll put some just uh, wood uh, sort of cross sections in just to secure that uh, floor down to so now it's insulation back in and uh, that's uh, flooring back in and I think that's done in terms of the floor onwards and upwards so it's been a few days but I'm finally back in the van 
and I'm going to finish the sound deadening which I started the other day um, just very roughly <laughs> cutting up pieces uh, to cover the van we went with the brand um, Noeco I think is how you say it um, just ordered it off Amazon uh, started it a couple of days ago and I'm just going to finish that off now but if we do the sound test without with I think it's definitely making quite a bit of difference. So the sound deadening is finally done. Um, and now we're a little bit stuck because this is the time where we'd like to put our uh, electrical cables in, um, ready for our lights and things, uh, but we're a bit clueless on what to do. So uh, my dad is going to spend a bit of time doing a bit more research into that before we start. Uh, but in the meantime, our sheep's wool has come, which is what we're going to use to um, insulate the van walls. So I'm going to make a start on that. Yeah. And as I was come out from research, I was uh, sent in to research the uh, electrical development. And I'm bored with that already, so I've come out to see what's going on with this uh, insulation. And this is what, Han? It's, it's wool, isn't it? What's it called? Sheep's wool, yeah. Sheep's wool. And it's supposed to be really good in terms of uh, what? These well, scissors are good. There's loads of reasons, aren't there? There's loads of reasons. We yeah. can't give them right now. <laughs> Up on screen. <laughs> well, I think this will be fun. Yeah, well, one, of, one, of, one of the things that's good about it is it's not supposed to um, be itchy and uh, you know get all the fibres mm -hmm. getting into your clothes and all that kind of thing. So yeah. that's quite nice. But anyway, we've finally got the wrapping off. Yeah. And uh, let's see how this goes. I don't, I don't think it just cuts with scissors. Doesn't it? Penny's now found some shade. On your pen, you chilly. Yeah? Sound good what? You just on the camera, you're smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. 